Hi everyone, and this video is going to be about how to use DesignSpark PCB to design your own PCBs. So, specifically, this video is going to be about uh, designing PCBs for your own PCBs, as in PCBs that you're going to etch yourself. Um, you can use these, these points, these hints and tips and whatever for boards that you are going to create send off the files to China and get them made for you. You can use it for that, but specifically uh, this is meant to be a guide for people who are creating their own PCBs which they um, which they will etch themselves. Um, so before I start I need to say that I'm not affiliated with DesignSpark whatsoever. Um, I'm not paid by them. Uh, I'm not involved with them. Um, I'm simply a user and uh, the thoughts and the instructions that I'm going to convey are my own thoughts. Um, so that's that. Now I'm really excited about this video because I've been wanting to do it for such a long time but um, uh, sometimes there's more to, to YouTube than um, than what you see or what's on the face of it. I actually wanted to do this ages ago but I couldn't get permission from the copyright holder and therefore I had to abandon it. Um, but anyway after a lot of messing about I've got permission now so that's good. Um, anyway so uh, what is Design Spark? Well it's excellent excellent PCB design software. I've looked and used several different ones. Uh, there's one called Eagle, there's lots of different ones. Um, but I believe this is the best one. And, and it's also free. So, you know, the, I think it's the best one. It's free. You can't go wrong. Um, and it, it really is excellent software. And hopefully, uh, after me showing you, maybe you want to try it too. I don't know. So, uh, first of all, where do I get it from? Uh, you get it from rs-online.com forward slash design spark and then if you go there let me just show you if I just go there it should come up here so there you go home so you go to our software go to PCB software then go to download and installation there should be a button down here somewhere there it is design uh, download DSPCB 8.1.1. So anyway, if you download that, install it, etc., um, you'll be ready to start. So uh, let's start. So we'll go to File and New, and it asks about PCB design. Click OK. Uh, new PCB Wizard. Click Next. Default Technology Units Thousands. Click Next. So if you are making your own PCBs using copper clad board. Here you want to use single sided board which is the top option and then click next. Where it says define board size it really doesn't matter because you can very simply change it um, when you're actually in the program so it doesn't matter about that so click next. Design name. Well in this example I'm going to show you something really really simple uh, just to show you the basics of the thing. I'm going to make a voltage divider so voltage divider. For those of you who don't know, um, a voltage divider is a really simple um, circuit, if you like, and it's where you get one voltage and you want to reduce it to another voltage. It's not for power, it's not to power stuff, it's usually for a signal uh, a signal sort of use um, or a reference point or something like that. So if, say, we have 5 volts and uh, we need to resist off a third in order to reduce something to 3.3 volts, you can use a voltage divider. Uh, or if you want a reference to something like say for example you've got 5 volts and you want a reference to 2.5 volts you can use two resistors again to be able to get the 2.5 volt uh, reference point anyway this video is not about um, you know the details of uh, electronics and whatever it's how to use this software so uh, let's start right um, making the voltage divider should be very very easy. We're going to start with some pads and we're going to need pads to put the connector block on the PCB. So the connector block obviously goes through holes on the PCB. So we're going to need some of these um, and just roughly I think this, I think that's probably about right for the spacing. So we can label these off here. We want one that says um, well it will be V in really. So V in. I can go there. In fact, that's too close. Hang on, because we need to enlarge and uh, that pad in a minute. The other one's going to be V out, and the other one's going to be ground. <coughs> so ground. Right. So the first thing we need to do is 
because this is our own PCB and it's not one we're going to send the files to China, although this will work fine anyway, um, we want to make things easy for ourselves and um, basically we want to thicken the pads. So let's just show you that again. If you highlight them all just like that, left mouse button down, drag it over, let go, right click on any one of them and go to properties. Uh, under the pad tab you can see over here it says width. So we're going to change that to 90 and then press enter. And you can see that that's much better um, for our own created PCBs. If you use the, the scroll button, you can zoom in and out like that. Sorry, not the scroll button, the scroll wheel. And to pan around, if you press the uh, uh, scroll wheel down and then move the mouse, it will pan and scan around the PCB. Really cool. Anyway, what do we want to do next? So we've got our connector. Let's just move it away from the edge of the board like that. Now the spacing has to be right and if you've got the same setup of me, which you probably should have, uh, this you'll find that this spacing is actually spot on. Um, you know, if you get a, one of those three pin connectors, the pitch will be about right. Um, and you can usually tell because there's a, you know, one square in between and that's about right. For the for the two pin blocks the spacing is greater I think it's about it's about two blocks and then and then the other pads here but anyway let's carry on right to make things easier for ourselves ourselves I should say um, I'm going to draw a rectangle around this just to indicate where the block actually is so over here there's a rectangle where is it add shape rectangle so left click on that then click where you want to start the rectangle drag it over, click where you want to end the rectangle it's about there. Now if you click over here and drag you can correct it, you can move it up and down or whatever you want to do. Right, the next thing we want to do is copy one of these so if you right click and then uh, oh, I've just noticed there's no copy so there's something for the Design Spark team to do. Anyway, if you click on there left click and then press Control and C on the keyboard it copies it click anywhere else and control and V and it pastes copy quite cool so you don't have to redo all the configuration so we want to put this resistor away from the connector block uh, a little bit so let's say here and I think the spacing between um, the leads of a resistor some something about something like that with with uh, four or five squares in between like this one two three four that looks about right to me um, and now we actually want two of those so again left click drag control and C to copy control and V to paste and then just put them wherever we want them probably about there 